All right, guys, welcome back to the Vortec 4200 square body build. Um, today we're making a manifold, at least the flange, because for some reason nobody makes manifold flange for these, for the intake manifold. I was able to buy the exhaust one, not the intake one. So we've got the intake here, and I uh, cleaned it up as best I could. And what we're going to do and take this piece of uh, half inch by three inch, I think it's like 30, 32 long or something. Gonna clamp it to this and trace this out. The top is straight. Hopefully I can just leave it straight, although there are some little indents. Hopefully I can just clamp it to the top. And then all I gotta do is trace, you know, the sides and the bottom. Hopefully it makes it a little bit easier, but uh, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're back after an excessive amount of grinding, and we learned that the plasma is probably not the way to do this. Um, yeah, because I had to trim quite a bit off of a grinder that cut off wheel anyways. But clean them up, it's not too bad. I did mark where those divots are because those are for the injectors to give them a little more room. So now the part that we have to do is put these holes in. All right, so I managed to get the flange cut. Uh, what I actually ended up using was a, a router with a quarter inch end mill in it. And it didn't work too bad. But so what I got now is I've got um, runners that I need to squeeze. Might not have bought the right size, but we'll deal with it. Uh, definitely probably bought them too thick. But, I mean, that's that channel. I don't know what I'm doing. It's what we do here. We just wing it. So anyways, this is what I'm going to do now. i got to get this cleaned up surface wise and then I'm going to try a couple things to uh, squeeze these into the rectangle shape and I took a bunch of measurements yesterday so uh, we'll try to get at least some runners tacked on so I can go test fit it on the truck so first attempt at uh, making these the right shape not too bad I think uh, we'll be able to massage that out once I get the, the edges tacked uh, but yeah, so I just took a this hardwood 4x4 four four and kind of cut the right shape. So this end is 2x2, two two, so that's just where the, the actual pipe goes. And then the other end is cut into the, the size that I need. And I just put this big piece of steel on top and jacked her down. And yeah, it worked pretty good. So here we go. First tube's pretty much done. That's the front one. Uh, it's pretty aggressive angle but I mean, it is what it is it's what you gotta do uh, I'm hoping I, I measured I think this should clear but this is why I'm gonna only tack I'm gonna tack this together and tack the back one together and go test fit it because I'm not 100% sure where the how close the alternator was to that I thought I measured it but uh, so I just want to make sure that it's not gonna hit somewhere in there Okay, got the front and back runners in. Looking pretty good. So they're just tapped for now. And uh, just had to massage the hole out a little bit. Had to do the back one a little more. I think I've got the front a little farther forward than it needs to be. So maybe it took me off a of center. But uh, yeah, I can still fill that. That's fine. And, uh, you know, massage the the edges out and everything I think it should be fine but uh, yeah so this is all I'm gonna do for right now I'm gonna go test fit it on the truck so that should be the next clip that you guys see okay back at the truck and I got it in there and it looks like we're gonna be good sorry for the poor lighting but uh, yeah like it looks pretty good Got just enough clearance off to make sure that I mount this front plate on the face of this instead of on the front because that's really going to close it off. Um, but yeah, it should clear fine. I guess I didn't remember that the intake was quite a bit higher than the than the alternator, so we're we're fine there. Yeah, it should be pretty good. Um, so at least now I know that this, the spacing here is gonna work so I can finish all this up and then I'll probably get uh, 
we've got some nice cardboard at work that I'll take and I can make the box. As you can see, it's gotta get quite a bit smaller in the back uh, to clear vacuum booster. And then it has to come out up here for uh, the throttle body. And before I show you this, just understand that I'm not very good at estimating sizes. So we have a monster throttle body. Might change this up, but it'll have to be like that. It'll be almost under the brakes. But uh, yeah, should work. Okay, so I probably skipped a few steps here, but we got the runners kind of done. They're not finish welded. Uh, I was having some tungsten issues. So I uh, ordered some new stuff for my TIG and uh, I'll finish that up. But I got it enough that I can take this piece of cardboard and I can make a template for the box. So then I can take that all those template pieces and put them on the sheet of aluminum that I have and cut them out. And then it would be pretty much ready for final assembly. I'll have to get that done and uh, yeah, then I can start figuring out all the ports. And then the throttle body hole, I am gonna order a different throttle body. I don't really like the looks of the one that I have. So I'm going to uh, do that. That'll take a little more time, but we're gonna get at least the, the box of this built and done for this video. And then hopefully, you know, pretty close to trying to crank it. Um, still have a lot of wiring to clean up, but so I've got the basic shape of this done. It's not the prettiest thing. And I don't think I'm gonna do the rest of it in cardboard because it's kind of a waste of time. It's gonna be two of these big pieces. The front and the back are the same size and it'll just be rectangles to fill that in. So as you guys can see, I got uh, the basic shape of this thing down. Uh, I've still got some welding to do, but that that particular welding is kind of time consuming. You can only do a little bit at a time to not warp it. Um, I did not get this piece put in because this is where the throttle body is gonna go. And uh, I'm not super happy with my throttle body choice right now. So I left that off because I'm probably gonna try and find Honestly, something a little smaller, and then uh, when I do that, then I I don't have to fix the plate that I welded in there. I can just make the plate right from the start. So, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on, and we'll get a pretty good idea of how it fits. And then I'll throw the uh, the exhaust back on, and uh, it should should look pretty cool. Okay, so you see now we got it in there. It's kind of the whole picture. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Once I get it welded up, I'll clean it up. I might polish it. Thinking about polishing it. Pretty good fitment. So, why I left that off and why I don't really want to uh, make this last piece is because this is a throttle body I got. And I mean, it's just, it's kind of ridiculous size. All right, so it's probably been about three months since that last clip. Uh, work gets busy for me in the fall, so here we are. Um, I have realized a big error of my ways in the design of this intake, and that is with the straddle body. And that is that that goes behind the where it mounts. So I can't just put a flat face on that and mount it. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So I've made this little adapter plate. I still have to cut a little more of the hole out. Um, so I have this, and this is gonna get mounted out somewhere. 
and then I have a big piece of tube. It's gonna run, you know, I really need like three inches of this, but I'll use it somewhere else too. So that's kind of the plan, is I uh, have it mounted out here somewhere. I still gotta watch for that plug. So it'll probably end up like out in this area. Yeah. So uh, I guess cut to me welding that together. So there we have it. We've got the uh, tube and the adapter plate welded in. It's not exactly the angle I wanted, but I, I do think it's almost a 45 from where the intercooling piping is gonna have to go through. So that would help a little bit. What I really tried to do is get that lined up to the center uh, in between the middle two cylinders. I don't know if that's even worthwhile, but I don't know. What we're probably gonna find is that this is the absolute worst way that I could have built this. And if so, I guess that's what it is. Um, and we can always try it again. I did have a design I wanted to do, kind of like the, uh, if you've ever seen some of the Cummins intakes where it's just a tube. It's just a tube that runs back and it's got runners that comes off of it, throttle body, well, there's no throttle body in Cummins. Throttle body would have been in the front and I would have been able to do that if I would have moved this alternator. Um, but that's a whole other can of worms I didn't really feel like getting into. So maybe on the next swap, we'll do that. I think one of these would be pretty cool in like a C3 Corvette, maybe, maybe C4, yeah, C4, but that's for another day. Anyways, intakes, well, it's not completely done. I still have to do the port for the, uh, the map sensor and the vacuum to the booster, but those are, I got to dig the lines out and kind of figure out how I want to do those. The map sensor will probably just get mounted right on the intake somewhere. Uh, but I do have little welded bungs to to do that. So uh, I could wait and put this video out when it's completely done, but I ran out of argon today and probably not gonna get to that until next year, uh, the 29th right now. Yeah, and I don't really feel like uh, going to get more right now, so. So for the sake of getting a video out, we're going to leave it how it is and uh, it'll magically just get done later. So now we're getting into the nitty gritty of it. Uh, I need to get a key delete stuff going on. I need to put a wastegate in here somewhere. Totally forgot about that when I built that manifold. Uh, intercooler, intercooler piping. The whole fuel system, I gotta wire it. Not looking forward to that. Uh, I mean, I've got a wiring diagram and I know what's gotta get hooked up to what. Just not, doesn't sound like the funnest thing, you know? But anyways, I think that's where I'm gonna end it. I'll see you guys next time.